Time for the Bias Sports Report. First off, George Peros. Yeah! Yeah. What a, what a bloody warrior that guy is. Unbelievable. What a beauty. God bless him and his mustache. Best wishes to him. That's a tough guy right there. Earlier this week, another tough guy, Brian Burke, pulled off his first blockbuster deal as president of hockey operations with your Calgary Flames by acquiring Joe the Hammer Colbert. Uh-oh. Yeah. And if you think Berkey isn't in charge, he's not the puppet master in Calgary, and Jay Feaster is, uh, has a say in what's going on, then you don't know Berkey. First trade under Berkey. And who who is the trade with? It's with the Leafs. Uh-oh. Exactly. He knows what he's doing. It's Berkey. He's the puppet master. He's the master of puppets. That's actually where, why Metallica wrote that song. It's about Berkey. I don't know if you knew that. He's pulling all the strings there. And hey, what do you think you're doing, Oilers? Uh-oh. Yeah, losing last night? What do you think you're doing? 30th is ours this year. You had 30th, like, eight out of the last six years. You can't have 30th every year. It's ours. Calgary's time to shine. We get first overall. And Berkey's going to make it a blockbuster pick, and then everybody's going to say, I just can't believe it! I guarantee it. That's what Brian Burke does. How about the Winnipeg Jets, though, destroying the Edmonton Oilers last night 5-4? Unbelievable win. I'm on that bandwagon now. Go, Jets, go. The WNBA finals between the Minnesota Lynx and Atlanta Dream have to be moved to another building because the Phillips Arena in Atlanta is booked for Disney on ice. Dum, 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 dum. Yeah, so for the record, Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck are more important than the WNBA championship. In other news, the WNBA championship is going on and Minnesota and Atlanta have teams. I had no idea. Shocking news. This happened on Monday, but I want to address it. The Toronto Raptors have named Drizzy Team Ambassador. Dum, 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 dum. Whatever a team ambassador does, I'm not sure. The Raptors want to increase the brand. And when you're a sports franchise and you need a poser or want to be gangster rapper like Drake to do it, that's not saying very good things about your, your franchise. At least you got to hang out with Rob Ford. Uh-oh. That's pretty gangster. Chilling with the alleged crack smoking mayor. That's gangsta. One of those two is a gangster, and it's not hip-hop mogul Aubrey Graham, that's for sure. It's, it's Rob Ford. It's Fordsy. Meanwhile, a real rapper, Jay-Z, commented on why he'll be a good player agent one day, saying, quote, I was a drug dealer. Uh-oh. Yeah, well, Drake was on Degrassi, the next generation, so who's a, who's a gangster now? Jay-Z. Houston Texans are encouraging fans to stop burning their quarterback's jerseys. Uh-oh. After a lost Sunday against Seattle, people are starting to burn Matt Schaub jerseys. He has since deleted his Twitter. You know what? At least they didn't dump poop on his lawn like the Riders fans did to that poor kicker. And I don't have sympathy for kickers. I don't like kickers. I think they're useless. But that guy I felt bad for. To dump poop all over his lawn because he missed a field goal. Not cool, Ryder fan. And Sunshine Girl Elizabeth's 28 and could be pregnant. Uh-oh. I'm not exactly sure she's not pregnant. She probably, probably got a new dress. That's all I got.